Hello, people of grace. Today, during this Passion Week, as we remember Jesus' suffering and his resurrection, I want to talk to you about learning from two of God's assistant coaches. The book of Hebrews tells us that Jesus learned obedience in his life on earth. And the idea of obedience is how to hear God better, something that Jesus, as a human being, needed to learn. Like we all need to learn. That's what we were created for as humans. Jesus wasn't a sinner. He was a human who learned through his humanity and in his humanity to dial into God's voice throughout his whole life. And we can do the same thing, especially as we reflect on his Passion Week. We can do that in 2 Corinthians 1 by really listening when we experience life lessons from two of God's coaches the coach of comfort and the coach of affliction. Let's talk about affliction first. Affliction is this idea of being pressed, pressured, burdened. Uh, it's used of pressing grapes or pressing olives. And in the Hebrew culture of that day, you had a threefold pressing of olives to get olive oil, a very powerful imagery. When you think about Jesus praying three times in the Garden of Gethsemane on the Mount of Olives for his affliction um, to be taken from him, but it wasn't. And he learned to hear God through it, and he came through that pressing. The comfort is comfort the way we think of it, but it's comfort in the sense of coming from within, not so much the fluffy pillow and the nice warm bed, um, though we can celebrate those comforts as well. But it's the comfort of being encouraged. It's the comfort that the Holy Spirit gives us. So what are some treasures we can find as we learn to listen for God's voice when we are being encouraged or when we're being afflicted? When the coach of comfort is speaking to us or when the coach of affliction is speaking to us? I think there's three treasures in 2 Corinthians chapter 1. The first treasure of great price we can find is to find our true foundation in God. And this is in part the coach afflictions job. Paul talks about how they were afflicted to the point where they despaired of life and were brought outside of themselves and beyond what they could bear, but they weren't left there to be crushed. When they were brought beyond what they could bear, like Paul says to the Corinthians, God provided a way of escape. And that way of escape was God's own strength. Paul says that they were afflicted beyond what they could bear so that they could learn to find their foundation in God who raises the dead. That's a treasure of great price. To, find, to be brought out of yourself, to get out of your own way and really just rest in God. And when you do that, when you're comforted, you become an encouragement to others. And when you're afflicted, you become an encouragement, a comfort to others. And Paul talks about that in 2 Corinthians 1. We're not just here to be comforted for ourselves or afflicted for ourselves. We can become sources of comfort to others by how we process both the encouraging things and the discouraging things. Find your foundation in God. And that is an incredible treasure. The second treasure is that these coaches of comfort and affliction can help us find simplicity and sincerity. Simplicity is that idea of singleness of eye where light can come out and light your world. It's a freedom from ulterior motives. It's this, when we lack simplicity, we often um, have multiple motives dominating for control rather than just a kind of openness and, and honesty uh, as we interact with other people. And when our minds work that way, we can't even receive what other people say um, well, because we will assign complex motives to them and ulterior motives to them. Um, but when we listen and we learn from both the encouraging things and the afflicting things, we can gain the treasure of simplicity. And with that treasure of simplicity, Paul talks about how they also had sincerity. And sincerity is this idea of this bright light shining through you. In other words, I just mentioned that through comfort and affliction, we can get out of our own way. 
and really let God shine through. When we achieve simplicity and sincerity or transparency, we're just getting out of our own way and letting God shine through us. That is a pearl of great price. That is a wonderful treasure we can find when we learn from comfort and from affliction. So we can learn and find God as our foundation. We can find simplicity and sincerity, and we can find a positive, eternal, hopeful outlook. Paul ends this section of 2 Corinthians 1 talking about how every promise that God has made is yes in Christ. And we can have that same kind of positivity and eternal hope through the comforts and afflictions of life shine through. I think most of us, if we're honest, live a no-based life. We say no to things too quickly. We fear the no answer. We think about all the bad things that are going to happen to us if this or this or COVID or whatever happens. And we want a shift to happen where we're living a yes in Christ, hopeful, positive life. Those are three great treasures that comfort and affliction can help us find. Find God as your foundation. Find simplicity and sincerity. Find a hopeful yes in Christ lifestyle. They're treasures beyond worth in a world that lacks them. And we can be a source of those things to others. Learn from God's coaches of both comfort and affliction and be encouraged. Christ learned these lessons before you and he is the master teacher. And he is always going to be for us because his word is always yes in Christ. Have a blessed day.